Hello, welcome to another tutorial. So we are going to be designing this guide bracket um, to start start a new part file. So new, and this is going to be inch. So we don't need to change our unit. But if you are in metric and you need to change your unit, so just go into your settings, document properties, unit and you select metric over here i mean like if you you select inch if you're already in metric but this is this um drawing is going to be in inch um the first thing we need to do is um draw this profile right here so we're going to select our front plane and sketch and you just go number two so just draw um the shape something like this a line going up, a line coming this way. Um, move it over here so you can see another line uh, coming this way. Just something like that, and we're just gonna add our dimensions to that, just to kind of define as we go. That dimension is 0.5. So moving along, we'll draw another line coming down, and we draw another line coming down. And make sure this line and this line are parallel. So select both line holding control key, select both line and select your parallel relation. And and I'm just going to switch that. Where is it? Um, there you go. And move this. I'm just going to move this over here, something like that. And we can draw another line. Let's just add at our angle. So that's what I'm missing. So just select this line and that line, add your angle, which is 45. So that kind of helps things out. So we can drag this out. Now we can draw the other profile, which goes something like this. And you can select this point and that point match them together so you just need something like this so make sure this this lines select both lines and make them perpendicular select this lines these two line make them perpendicular so this line and that line this line and that line make them perpendicular so these three lines these four lines over here needs to be perpendicular to each other and this line and that line also needs to be perpendicular so you can see my perpendicular relation here with there there here so once you have that you pretty much now can start adding your dimension so um, we can add our dimension from here to here which is going to be 0.5 um excuse the noise i think there's a plane flying by um, we can also add another dimension from here to here, which is um, 2.76. 2.76, that is right there. And we can also add this dimension, which they didn't give you the dimension of this line, but if you look, it's like the center point to here, which is the radius, is 2.12. So that means this line is going to be 2.12, 2.12. And the dimension from here to here is going to be 1. And that is given right here, 1. And also the dimension from the back to this point is going to be 3.34. 3.34. No, 3.38. So let me just double check, check to make sure I have everything 2.26, 2.1, 0.5, 1, 3.38, 0.5, 1, 3 and 45. Good. So once we have that, our sketch is fully defined. We can just go to our feature, extrude, um, extruded by the mid plane. By the mid plane and it is going to be two so the distance is two right so two and click okay good 
So once we have that, click this space and sketch um, number two. And we want to draw a circle. It's, so remember, our circle is the center point of our circle is starting at the midpoint of this line. So we just draw a circle that is on that midpoint and just draw it out, something like that. Then click this. Um, and when you're drawing your sketch, make sure you are like drawing it on this space. So if I go number two, make sure your origin point is pointing this in this direction to the right. Um, so click this circle and this edge and make them tangent. So that fully defines our circle. What we want to do is select this edge and this edge, holding down the control key, convert entity. So it converts those to a line and we can pull this point and drag it out. So something like that and draw a line holding, connecting this to make sure your line is horizontal. It doesn't really matter just to fully define it. So draw an horizontal line and we can trim, trim to closest. I'm going to trim that part off, trim this part off and trim that part off. So we only have something like that. And again, I go number two and just add a dimension to fully define that. I can just put point, point 0.5. I want my dimension sticking out of the up here so that way when I cut it, it won't give us an error because if you use this line, it's going to give you an error. Um, so go to feature, extrude cut, and we want to, something is wrong with my sketch. So I'm going to go back. And as you can see, I have an extra line over there. I'll just delete that line and go back to extrude cut. There you go. And I'm just going to do up to next and just cut that off and click OK. Good. So we have that. The next thing we need to do is click on this space and sketch number two. So when you click number two, it gives you this face, which is the back side which that is right um but i want to always draw the sketch so in the, the view that's given on the drawing so that way you see how i'm adding the dimension so click number two again so that gives you the front part which is this or make sure your origin point is also pointing to this direction if you've been following how I've, the the sampling that i've been designing it on so your origin point should be facing this way so once you have that um just draw something like this just draw a rectangle over here and draw two lines sticking out of that rectangle going up um, another line going up and close that off on that edge so you have something like this to start with and we can even trim this off um so now we can start adding our dimension from this edge to that edge is going to be 0.62 which is this so which is why i'm point i'm showing you in this view so you can see the dimension as i'm adding it um from this line to that line is going to be 0.76 um what else the this line to that is going to be 0.24 and that is given over here um this whole bottom part is going to be 1.24 and from the top to the this edge so which is from this line to that is going to be 0.24 and we can just move this up a little bit if it's on the way and the only thing is they don't give you that dimension but looking at this they both um look even so we just can make um this from here to that line um 0.12 to do it half of that so once you have your feature everything is fully defined and again it's still on the back so we can go to feature extrude cut and blind up to next and click OK. Good. So 
now the only thing with the last thing we need to draw is our circle which is this is a counter ball circle and it says from the bottom so which means our circle is from this space so when we click on this space we can select sketch um not sketch um click on no come to your feature select whole wizard so once you're in your hole with that come to this position tab select the space and we are just going to go normal too so what we want to do is just add uh, four points something like that the four points for those four circles and press escape to get out of that option to select more points so once you're in escape once you press escape you have your four point so now select holding down the control key select this point and that point uh, select those two points and add an horizontal relation escape select those two points add a vertical relation escape select these two points add a horizontal relation escape and select these two points and add a vertical so add your relation so this point and this point are the same this point and this point are the same as well as that so um, because that's what they have over here with those four lines so once you have that we can add our dimension from here to here uh, from that edge to that point is going to be um, 0.62 and which is over here and from this edge to this point is going to be 0.5 and also from here to here is going to be 1 and from this point to that point is going to be right here which is 2.12 and you can see our points are all black so once you have it all fully defined we just need to come back to the type select this first which is the counter ball and you come down here show custom sizing and in the first in the first box you want to add the 0.312 and in the second box you want to add 0.5 and in the third box you want to add um, 0.24 which is right here. make sure you have this value the same value and this you can select up to next and once you have everything and just click OK and there you go we have our circle and we are done with this part and if I just go to my isometric view and there you have it um, thank you and if you have any question please feel free to leave a comment or suggestion or anything thank you and I will see you on the next tutorial